Good day everyone, today I am going to show you how to use file uploader in Streamlit. In this tutorial you will learn how to get files from the users in the Streamlit application. And I will show an example of getting CSV data frame from the user. Uh, let's start. I will call where I will df for data frame and uh, use file uploader function of Streamlit. This function has a label parameter. Uh, let's write, for example, upload your dataset and uh, we will refresh the multi application. As you can see, we have a new box here which is going to use to uh, browse or drag and drop files. And uh, the string we uh, use uh, has been written here as upload your dataset. Uh, after we get a file from the user, it will be stored in the df variable. Uh, it's uh, recommended to use uh, if uh, because when there is no, uh, there is not any file uploaded, you don't want to uh, use this code here. But if we write if df, it will be active only when the user uploads any file. After we get the file, we need to read it uh, in the uh, using pandas uh, library. pd.read csv df and I will use df again to uh, read the csv file into the df variable and after that I will uh, print the header of this data frame df.read let's see how this works Browse files, there is a, a CSF file I prepared, and as you can see, the head of uh, CSF file has uh, been printed in the Streamlit application. Uh, what we did, we took the file here and then check if file is uploaded, and then we uh, write the head of the parameter. If we don't use if here, uh, for example, if we write it without if, let's see how this works. As you can see, it gives an error because there is not any file uploaded yet. This df uh, parameter is empty and it cannot uh, read the uh, file. That's why we need to use if here to check if the user has yet uh, uploaded the file. And after that, uh, do whatever we want with the file upload. Uh, this is how you use file uploader in Streamlit. Thank you very much.